Today in Indianapolis, more than two dozen scientists gathered at a library to download climate data stored on federal servers before the new administration takes over. Scientific communities across North America have been rallying to back up all of the data, fearing it may be blocked or even destroyed by climate change skeptics given vast powers by Donald Trump. It is, is immaterial. To the, really? To, to the job of, to the job of- You are gonna be the head of the agency to protect the environment and your personal feelings about whether climate change is caused by human activity and carbon emissions is immaterial? At another archiving event in Philadelphia, scientists are scrambling to protect their work. Ariel Duem Ross explains. The task at hand is to move information from federal um, government websites to safe places. And when I say safe places, I mean safe as in citable for academics. What we're focusing on here today is, is the second data rescue event in a longer series of data rescue events. We're focused on data sets, really big ones, from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. It would actually be sort of easy to make those hard to get um, because you can just, you know, break the link and the page isn't found anymore. I'm an independent computational ecologist. I do data analysis for climate change organizations in different places around the country. Everything that I do depends very, um, very much on the availability of accurate environmental data. I need to understand how the climate has been in the past, the temperatures, rainfall that plants and animals have experienced in the past, and what's coming in the future. It's a project to make sure the research doesn't slow down at a time when it's more urgent than ever. It feels really a little scary um, to have a president-elect who sometimes thinks climate change is a fact and sometimes thinks it's a Chinese hoax. There's a lot of data that needs to be stored. Some of it will go on servers owned by the Internet Archive, a nonprofit, but organizers are also leasing servers from Amazon. The Philadelphia event alone cost $22,000. Similar events have been held in Toronto and Chicago and are planned for Los Angeles, Ann Arbor, and New York. The scientists behind it have tried to automate the archiving, but the machines can't do everything. They don't click on every link, though. They go a few levels deep, and then they stop going. They can't press search. They can't um, open a pop-up window. So if a beautiful PDF loader comes up, they can't see that. Vice News reached out to the Trump transition team and asked if it has any intention of removing or altering climate data. They declined to comment. But scientists still want to take every precaution. All the information that's been gathered is in the hands of these people who don't really seem to have much respect for science. And so nobody knows for sure what's going to happen to the data. But you know what they say. They say, hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. And preparing for the worst in this case means making sure that the data exists someplace outside of the control of the federal government. Mm -hmm.